Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Abyss, and we return to the Long Dark. We put uh, the series on to pause, and I started Wizard with the Gun to tackle that through, and now with that game basically wrapped up for the series for now, we're coming back to the Long Dark. And we also have some new stuff we might eventually get to, which is the last bit of, uh, like, the seasonal DLC sort of stuff that was ongoing for the Long Dark. Taking my bearings, I'm trying to remember where we exactly are. Uh, we've made it to the Forsaken Airfield, which is out in far territory. I do notice our water supply is a little low. I think we had just gotten into uh, this airplane hangar here, and we haven't even like looked around to start looting yet. So I'm going to start with that, just see what all is here, and then keep roaming around seeing what else we can find. But because of the way... Uh, I'm trying to think of what the Tales from the Far Territory story far territory stuff sort of is I think if we do kind of like look around here enough maybe we'll find something that'll kind of eventually lead us to the new stuff that was just recently added this will come handy. but for now I'm just going to take my time roaming around and seeing what we can find newsprint roll uh, oh there's a basement to the hangar oh there is, and it gets pretty dark down there. Ooh, and it goes down for a fair while. Okay, nothing really around here, just some old paint cans, I think. Uh, mattress will take. Good to know there is a workbench here. Nothing really there. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not down here during an aurora, because it looks like there will be a lot of exposed wiring. Yeah, I'll take a book, just... Really walk with this much gear. Yeah, we're starting to get weighed down, but I want to have some fire material on us. We'll probably need to look at getting one started in a little while. Just even to get some water starting to cook. Uh, odd place for a potato sack, but... There is a furnace and forge here. Huh. Oh, and a bed, so if we did want to set up, we have a little corner here, although... If I turn this out, it's probably pitch black, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely black. Okay, let's get upstairs. And actually, there's something interesting that was added that... Oh, hang on, what is this note? Memo. Uh, here, Field 31, take Pride Pilot's best resource in wilderness. From refueling and resupplying to hot cup of coffee, goals welcome be a welcome way station for all visitors. Time to time, since the hazardous cargo passed through our hands, need to make all precautions or take and safeguard it while it's in our care. Ah, da, 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 da. Simply, any off-field visitors you may see handling unlabeled cargo will not be engaged or known in any way. Basically sounds like some stuff came through here and they were given discretion. Oh, wait. Okay, there is a hammer here, too, so if I did need to forge anything, I could. I don't know... Oh, the only thing I don't have is lead, but I think the only way to get that might be from car batteries. Because I could try making more ammunition for myself, although, if I recall correctly, yeah, rifle is pretty well loaded. Ah, oh, we got two of those, six arrows, and a lot of handgun ammo. So you know what? Uh, it's not really a priority to have to make any more I would drink almost anything. ammunition. Uh, nothing really down there. Oh, quite a few flare shells. Do actually, I should check and see. Do I have a flare gun at all? No. I think I found a lot of flare shells, however. Uh, okay, I'm not really seeing anything else. Oh, that's a different looking suitcase. It has nothing to it. Okay. Eh, we'll just keep exploring. I mean, I should check out the planes, too, in time. No, oh, plenty of pallets, so wood won't be a problem. Uh, I can't really break anything down for scrap metal around here, though. But yeah, there should be quite a bit to the airfield we haven't checked out yet. I think all we really did was 
talked a lot about getting out here, made it here for one episode, and then decided to put it on pause to uh, go for the other series that was with a gun. This will come. Uh, we'll leave that for now. And yeah, there's quite a bit to check out here. Kind of hoping maybe I can find a washroom because there might be an easy source of water there. Uh, magnifying lens, some drawers. I think most of this area's already been pretty... I shouldn't say picked over, but cleared out from leaving it all behind. Huh. I won't say no to that, that's some easy calories. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, you know what, I'll pass on that. Water, I think, is my more urgent concern. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It might be I have to make a fire outside. Because, yeah, I haven't really seen anything I'm super looking for. Nothing in the hatch. Oh, you can actually hop into the helicopter. And it does... Oh, there's a locker. I, could use I don't really need the clothing. Nothing in that one. Nothing there. I did see for a minute mountaineering rope in here. But I don't know what I was looking at. For... Oh. I think I can use this. Yeah, see, I can't tell, like, it's, like, on the door or seat or... It's somewhere in here, but we'll just leave it for now, because that's a lot of weight that five kilograms carry. Uh, two. Yeah, see, I don't know if there would be a washroom on the second story, so it might just be a good idea to step outside. And I'll we'll try making a small fire quickly to get some water going. I will just be ready with this in case, although, well, we are shielded from the wind here, so we should be all right. Ah, uh, do do. Yeah, go for wood matches. Yeah, our best bet is just using the regular book, so we'll just toss that in to start. But yeah, then first couple episodes of this is probably just going to be getting my footing back into long dark. Not being too ambitious with things. Just because as much as I have a lot of ammo, getting a little overconfident is a very easy way of winding up in bad situations. We'll do that. Okay, we'll put the gun away for now. Yeah, get that going. Get those both going. Uh, yes, I don't even have a thing of water started. But those should be done in an hour, so I'll just head back inside and keep roaming around. Maybe I can get lucky and just find a... Like a can of soda or something. Just something to keep our thirst for a little longer. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Nothing really up here. I mean, there is some abundant cloth and wood, so... We have access to a lot of resources if we ever need those. Perfect. Get that for a nice drink in. I guess we'll take the salt for now. Condensed milk. Uh, do -do. Oh! Camera flight porridge. With fruits and syrup, pilot's favorite after a long flight. We'll take that. This gear is starting to slow me down. Now I have to figure out where I want to set up in. It might not actually be a bad idea to set up in the hangar here for where we'll stay. That's just a bowl in there. That's not a pot. And nothing up top there. Nothing in the microwave. Anything left behind in the fridge? Our fridge is. Never would have thought to look here. 
Ooh, new jar of peanut butter is pretty good. And we'll take that, because we can quickly cook that. And we'll just drink that right away, and that basically resolves our water need. Okay, but I do have to look at figuring out what we'll do for our base of operations, because the weight is starting to add up. So I know there is the uh, setup down in the basement of this place. But I don't know if I want to keep going down there in the dark all the... I was going to say all the time, but you know what? Up here might actually work as a decent enough spot. Yeah, you know what? I think we will use this hangar as our... Uh, headquarters while we're in the airfield. Okay, if I need water, I can always stop there to pick some up. Uh, let's start by using everything here. Okay, so food-wise, let's see what we'll put away. Because we should probably have a fair bit we can start dropping off in here. I'm going to hold on to the fish, just so that way I can take that and cook that right away. So there's all that. That'll be our food fridge. This one can hold 20 kilograms. Maybe we'll start with... Oh, right, I've got some of these things I can start curing. Drop that, drop that. Those are cured. Maybe we'll make... Ah, one of these are materials. Okay, that there, tool-wise, I don't need all those kits on me. Uh, we'll transfer those three things over there. A couple of the whetstones can go over. I can probably get rid of some more things there in time, but let me see clothing. Because I did just pick up, yeah, there's the sweater I picked up. Uh, the rest is pretty fine there. I think of where all my weight is. I'll transfer four bits of coal over the two books. And yeah, I mean, I know, okay, the fish is about two kilograms. Pry bar we'll put over for now. Probably got a lot with the guns. The hatchet, I don't think I'll need right away, so that can go over. Uh, keep the one storm lantern on us. Maybe I'll just hold on to this for... Yeah, I'll hold on to this for now. We are moving much better. So I'll just head down, see about how the water and that's coming along. It does sound like the wind is picking up. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, so that's 40 minutes and... Oh. Oh, that's already potable. Okay, so we'll take that. That's still cooking. But we'll get that white fish cooking now. And with it so foggy, I don't really have my bearings here. So what I'll probably do is just keep around here, keep ourselves fed, supplied, ready with some self-defense, because there are more than likely wolves prowling around. I wonder if there's a way I could knock that down so I could get to the top. It doesn't matter too much. But yeah, we'll just get our bearings and on the day when it's a little more clear, we'll probably see about trying to uh, map out around the surroundings a bit more. I've never been to the airfield, I have no idea what we can find around here. But it might actually be worth it to check out the helicopter a little bit better. Now I guess I've checked that side. I check this side? Nope. What do we got here? Nothing. Now if we hop inside for a moment. Oh, okay, I've been through all those. Oh, been through those. Oh, some of these as well, not all. Nothing there. There are some things up there. 
Oh, wait, that's a searched as if there's something... Oh, okay, just that. Hey, oh. Take another flare. And I think, yeah, that looks to be about it for here. I do hear the howls out in the fog. We don't want to go looking too much for that. I think it really is just taking our time exploring and seeing what we can find from this point. But yeah, we've gotten ourselves a base of operations we'll work out of. There's, I know there's a control tower somewhere around here. The fog is so thick, you can't see anything past a while. Yeah, so we'll have that. I don't really have anything else. Well, I can cook some of that, I suppose. And how are my skills doing? Uh, Carcass harvesting is almost level 3. Mending is almost up to level 2. The big one is our cooking. If we can get that up to level 5, then that's going to be amazing for us. Because that means we don't have to worry at all about uh, parasites in, like, the meats. Or, like, predator meat. So then we can basically just eat and be completely good on anything we get. We don't have to time out the parasite risk. Yeah, I hear them out there. We'll take that, we'll take that. Uh, you know, I'll just wait till that's boiled. We'll take that, pick that up, and head back inside. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I can do to help pass a little more time while we're in here. With all the pallets, I could probably look at breaking some down for the reclaimed wood. So yeah, this is kind of... And there's another book, we'll take that, just for the fire materials. Okay, that's cured, so I can actually probably use that to try repairing this hat. Oh, cured gut, I don't have. I'm, actually, I'm kind of surprised I don't have cured gut. Oh, well, I guess it's one of the things I just didn't really bring with me, because I thought it would be so abundant to get. I mean, all I do need to do is take anything down I'll have, but... Yeah, so that's over there for now. That's good. Ah, Drink-wise, let's move that all over. And you know what? Because there is the washrooms apparently up here, let's just see if we can scrounge for any more easy water out of the toilets. Yeah, there's that. And we'll take from that. And we don't have to worry about our water supply for a long time going forward. So let's store that away, so that way we can just have a nice stockpile here we can snag from. And how is all my clothing doing? 87, 90, 83. That I might want to look at. I might do some repairs to our stuff. Because one of these, maybe the next one, had just some cloth left behind. Or maybe it was downstairs. I know in one of these there's like some pallets and just like some tarping left behind. Or maybe it was this way. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'll just break that down for the easy cloth. Work at the, uh, do, 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 do. work around the bedding here just so that way when it is time to turn in we can easily just settle in and get a good sleep. Yeah, so repair that. Actually, we're probably going to get our mending skill up to level 2 before too long here. As that's 100, that's 91, uh, that's 73, so we'll repair that. There we go. Um, Everything looks like it's up almost above 80 now. This could use a repair. There we are. Yes, yeah, so 87, 90, 83. Uh, we do have a couple of things at 81, so you know what? 
we might as well just keep going for a while. I am basically just trying to wind down our fatigue meter a bit. So that way we can get a full sleep in. And we'll repair this as well. I think too with trying to get their condition higher, they also give better insulation against the cold. Yes, yeah, so there's mending up to level 2. What does that give us? Um, 65% chance of successful and repair time decreased by 10%. So it does go a bit faster. And you know what? Let me just go back over to the kitchen area. Uh, that's the washrooms. Yeah, come back here. We'll just get a small drink, have a little bit more food. And then we'll tuck in for the night. So just have that. Have a bit of that. Or all of that, apparently. Okay, and now we're good to tuck in and get some good sleep. It's a new day tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be decent weather and we can start doing a little bit more exploring around the airfield. Again, I'm not really sure what I'll find, but we'll just see what happens as we go along. It is good to be back to the long dark again and back to another survival series. I ha- oh. Oh, it's another Aurora night. I think they've been more common with us being out in the uh, far territories, because I think almost every night it's been active. So, you know, let me get a drink. I think I just need a little bit of food in us. And then we could look at going and exploring. You know, maybe we'll do the exploring next episode. Just use this as, like, we got our footing back. We made sure we're in a good spot. Now, n this next episode... I still have to actually look through all the planes here, too, but that can come on a day of bad weather. For now, we'll end this Return to the Long Dark right here. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of the series. If you liked the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Until I see you all in the next video or episode, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.